Hi guys, I'm Jessica and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new and today this video wasn't actually planned um, I've been subscribed to the FBE and react channels for like four years now so I watch their videos regularly and I saw this one on my subscription page on YouTube and I was like okay this seems interesting Let's watch it. And I started watching it after one minute in, I was like, okay, wait a minute. This could be good for a video. And here I am doing this video. You're probably confused if you're new to this channel. If you're a subscriber by now, you already know that I'm Italian. And if you're new, probably you wouldn't know. But yes, I'm Italian. I was born in Italy and raised in Italy and actually still live in Italy and as cliche and stereotypical as it is we do eat pasta a lot and so why not react to this video and see if Americans can actually make some pasta because you probably think <laughs> that's easy um yeah it is easy but still people manage to make it wrong so let's see if they do it the italian way i'm not saying is the only way to make pasta but i would say is the most right because we invented pasta i don't want to brag and i don't want to roast anyone here i just thought this could be a fun video and that's it nothing else so without further ado let's start the video Okay, so I'm nervous, interested, and scared at the same time. Um, I've had pasta before outside Italy. It wasn't that bad, but definitely it wasn't al dente. And I don't know. We'll see how they make it. Today we are giving you everything you need to make spaghetti. Ooh. First, we're gonna have spaghetti. you make it your way. Okay. okay. And then mm -hmm. I'm gonna run through some of these rules that are actually pasta cooking myths. 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 Mythbusters. Well, it sounds delicious, but I feel okay. like I'm gonna make all the mistakes. So this is actually be very helpful. Well, let's go. Let's start boiling. All right. Step number one, agua. I'm scared. I'll put like that much. No. I feel like that's one of the mistakes that I also saw when I was in London. You need quite a lot of water. You need to cover the pasta at least. You can put just a tiny bit of water. It's not gonna be enough because when the water boils, it's gonna evaporate. So the pasta is gonna stay there without any water and that's not correct. You need quite a lot of water actually. So I don't think that's enough. I'm nervous. What if I like bring this whole joint down? <laughs> I'm using my hands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Start. What the? Cool. F what? What, Michaela? What? That's not right at all. That's so wrong in so many ways. Oh my god. I'm probably being over dramatic, but. The first rule I would say, you not put the pasta, whatever type of pasta you want, but you can put it right away. Like the water needs to boil first and then you put the pasta in it. You just don't put it right away. That's the biggest mistake so far. You can just put pasta at the beginning. <laughs> what? And then maybe we'll pour some salt in the agua, sprinkle it. This is the method of transportation into the water. You sprinkle. Don't pour it directly okay. in. It's very important, a TV show told me. I have to say something here. Um, what it did, what Eric did, is not wrong and it's not right. Like, I add salt um, when the water is already boiling, but I know there's people that put salt right away. Um, it's not wrong because the water is gonna boil anyway, but the only thing that it does make a difference is that if you put salt right away it's gonna slow down the process for the water to boil and yeah so if you put it when the water is already boiling 
you're just saving time and electricity or gas whatever so yeah but it's not wrong it's just a different way i'm just gonna add a ton of salt we're going with three sprinkles olive oil is good with everything throw some of that in there i like to add a little bit of oil right off the bat and then when it starts boiling i add a little bit of salt again with the oil why i probably have to check this one out but i've never seen people put oil in the water am i like faking to be italian right now i'm like having italian um crisis right now like i've never seen this before am i missing something here Ooh, i like this kind of salt it's really important to have really salty water so you put a lot in there oh my god it's a lot of salt in a tiny bit of water this pasta is gonna be salty as Put okay. the pasta in there. We are gonna cover that. Um, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't put the lid back on when the pasta is boiling because the water is going to overflow and you're gonna make a mess. It's gonna go all over your stove. So that's not what you want. Sometimes I put them in long. Sometimes I put them in short. It really just depends. See, same. Same as the blonde girl, I forgot her name. Same as you. Sometimes I would break the spaghetti, sometimes I won't. If another Italian watches this video, it's gonna probably like die inside a little bit because I know so many people like cringe a little when people break spaghetti. I don't know why it's wrong. I mean, it doesn't make them taste any different. It's just gonna make them shorter. So I don't know why you shouldn't break spaghetti. Sometimes you can stir it. I don't really know why, but I've seen people do it in TV yeah. shows and it looks right. Right, Eric, you have to stir the pasta just because that way it doesn't stick to the, the saucepan, the pan, whatever. Um, yeah, that's the only reason you do it. There's no other reason really, so yeah. Adding oil would be good, just like a splash. Ugh. There's a little bit more than I wanted. So if I put in this amount of oil, oh, it changes color. Again, oil. What is this thing with the oil? I'm starting to think that this is an American thing because once again, never saw in any TV program or like restaurant or any of my relative in the family um, to add oil in the water. So probably this is an American thing. Woo. Yep, okay. That's what I actually said before. If you keep the lid when the water is boiling, it's going to overflow. Yes. Been there, done that. So we're actually going to clear everything. And now I'm going to show you a video on the things you did wrong today. All right. Did I do something wrong? What? That's Crazy. Really I'm excited. I'm curious. I don't know how the hell else you make pasta. Never rinse your pasta after cooking. This will remove the starches that help your sauce stick to the pasta. What? Duh. That's why I don't rinse my pasta. I did not know that. I didn't even know that was a thing. After you drain, strain it, you leave it in the pot. See? Oh, rinse? Why would you rinse your pasta? <laughs> you just drain it from the water, but you just don't rinse it afterwards. Who rinsed the pasta? Now I learned something new. Some people rinse the pasta, okay? Saving your pasta water can be handy in thickening up your sauces later because the starches in the water act as an emulsifier. True. Okay, it may seem a little watered down at first, that. but it thickens back um, up after a little mixing and cooking use, together. I do that, um, yeah. The pasta water to thicken some sauces, and yeah, so good, it is true. Adding salt to your water for flavor is a totally valid pasta cooking strategy. However, you want to add it after it's already boiled. Mm. Adding it before will just slow down your cooking time because salt raises the boiling point of water. Wow. Science. Told you at the beginning. But I mean, it's not wrong. You can do it, but you're just going to waste more time, actually. That's all, really.
Don't add olive oil to your pasta to stop it from sticking. Mm -hmm. Since water and oil separate, it actually doesn't do anything but sit on the top of water. Yeah, stir that's not gonna, it just doesn't process. work. Just stir your pasta continuously during the cooking process to make sure it doesn't stick. Thank you, thank you. The olive oil is not a thing. What is that? Thank you. Um, now I'm not confused anymore. I was really thinking um, to have an Italian crisis right here because everyone was doing it and I was like, what the heck? So thank you, FB. Now we're going to have you remake your spaghetti using all of those tips. Okay. With actual sauce too. We'll give you sauce this time so you can make spaghetti. Oh, really? Okay, perfect, okay. Didn't expect that. Let's see if they um, got all the rules and if they make it right this time. We're gonna start by putting in the pasta. <laughs> then I'll start it. <laughs> You didn't do this there's before, water. why are you doing this yeah, now? Hold on, I have a process. No, you don't do that. You don't put pasta right away, you just wait until it's boiling. So now that the water's boiled, now I add the salt, switching it up. Grab this pasta real Great. quick. Pasta going in. You just put that sucker right in there. So you stir immediately. Constant yes. stir. We're just gonna drain this yes. really quickly. Noodle water. Okay. Sauce in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna put some of the pasta water in. I don't wanna add like a lot. Okay. Let's see how this works. Yeah. I'm gonna put about this much in there. Dump it on, all right. Good. Onto the plate. There we go. Look at that. She's beautiful. We've got pasta. Okay. And we are done. I've seen enough pasta mistakes today, um, but I wasn't too um, mean, right? I mean, I just was correcting them. And I don't know, the most shocking things I've seen is the olive oil, definitely. And then rinsing the pasta. Okay, what, what is that? But uh, yeah, other than that, I was okay. I expected more mistakes and bigger mistakes. So I would say they weren't that bad, except for the oil. Once again, I was shocked about the oil, like, no. But yeah. Okay, so I hope this video is not too boring. I hope you had fun watching it because I had fun reacting to this video. And no shade or hate to the people in the video. Um, they were just doing what they're taught to do and that's all right. They're not in Italy, they weren't born in Italy or raised in Italy, so um, there's gonna be differences in cultures. I hope uh, the people that are watching learn some things about uh, pasta and how to cook pasta even though it seems really easy but there are some like four or five basic rules to follow and that's it. So if you learned something and enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate if you do it and if you want to please subscribe hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And that's it guys, I guess I'll see you next Thursday, bye!